watch the news at night all the time. These kids who go around shooting people. The news asks a million questions, just like you asked. Why? How come? We go gun control. What's guns got to do with it? Now, I'll put my criminal hat on. Go ahead, do gun control. Take away guns from all the good people. I will always have a gun. Every criminal will always have a gun. It doesn't come from different states. It could come from different countries. And if you were probably, when you were younger, you heard the thing, a zip gun. They can make a gun. I, we made silences. So that's not going to help nobody. What it's going to do is a girl is home with her kids. Some guy is stalking her. He wants to rape her. But he's always questioning, if I kick that door in to protect her kids and herself, she might have a gun and blow my head off. But take away all of that protection. She's going to get slaughtered. What about how many times did people with legitimate guns save so many people or stop somebody who's completely out of their mind? This is a problem of people growing up. The first problem at home. We all know our kids, our own kids. You know if the kid's a little weird or he's a little upset and he's not thinking right, you know it. But nobody will ever call the cops or anybody on their kids. They feel like they're giving their kids up. It's just normal reaction. They, he's gonna be great. You wait and see, he'll, he'll change. He gets worse. So now he goes to school. The teachers see it, but there's so many laws and rules. If the teacher says, I'm gonna send Jimmy to psych, the family will sue, he'll, she'll, you'll get fired. So you're tying the hands of teachers. So this kid just goes and goes and goes. By the time he goes out and shoots, God forbid, 14 people, there's always a line of people saying, yeah, when you look back, I, I knew this kid would be the worst, but nobody ever said nothing or did nothing. That's environment. That's not dyslexic. That's not a slow learner because the school system should never, if I wouldn't have been called dyslexic or if they would have known how to treat it, I don't know what I would have been. I might have been a doctor, I might have been a lawyer, I really don't know. Oh, so you do believe you could have gone a different direction if somebody got a hold of you early? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so this is so... Absolutely. Got it. So you did say there was environment, but now you're saying if somebody worked with you, tutored you, developed you, maybe you would have gone a different direction. Absolutely. I'm saying the same thing now about these kids who shoot people. If you would have grabbed those people years ago right. and said, there's a problem with this kid, let's tutor him. Let's send them to special places. Let's take care of them. Hmm. Maybe that kid, when he's 16, 18, 21, whatever the hell he is, he won't be shooting all these people. The kid is bent. It's not the gun. Now, if you took all the guns away and one of these kids run into a disco and he cuts loose with a bomb, instead of shooting 14 people, 60 people are dead. Are you happy? He don't have a gun. What are you going to say then? Oh, we shouldn't have bombs? Of course we shouldn't have bombs. But it's the kid. We're never going to the problem. And they always ask this stupid question. What could we do? How could we stop it? You can't. The guy is nuts. Even gangs, street gangs, the mafia, they don't run around shooting innocent people. We shoot each other when we break rules. We don't run around shooting innocent people. People will tell you live in tough neighborhoods, Italian neighborhoods from years ago. The mafia was actually a safe place for them. They didn't allow a rapist or a child molester. I'll give you an example. I'm in front of my place, I hang out. And there's this beautiful woman, she had a baby, now she's back in shape, she's drop dead gorgeous, and she's walking. She walks right past where we stay. We're sitting outside with beach chairs talking. It's not like the movies, people hooting and howling, maybe on a construction crew, but we don't do that. I tell my people, you do that, this is our people, this is our neighborhood. Don't do that. If I hear you doing something, no, Sam, we know we ain't gonna do that. So you'd say to yourself, she knows she's dropped that gorgeous. Why is she walking right past us on our side of the street? You know the answer? She feels safer? Absolutely. She don't want to walk on the other side because people will not hoot now. She's liable to get raped or robbed or something. And when I say the other side, it could be around the block. She's comfortable here. She knows she's not going to get hurt. Her husband allows her. Yeah, go on 18th there, go right past them. Stay by them. Because we wouldn't allow nothing to happen to her. There's a different vibe. I mean, even though they're, you know, 
Like people say, he's a killer. He was involved in 19 murders. I was involved in three mafia wars. I was involved in two different families. You could say whatever you want to say, but the reality is like, what do we do to stop this? Change the environment. Change the kid who's sick coming up. Change the kid who's dyslexic. Do something to help these intervene then. Years ago, they, there was, when I was a kid growing up, there was mental institutions. Then they took them away. There's no mental institutions. I heard Trump saying, we better start building them again. You bet your sweet ass you should, you should start building them again. Put people in there, not to do time, but to rehabilitate them, to help them. Look what we have in cities. We have zones where it's safe for, for people who are committing crimes. There's so many stupid laws that it's pathetic. It's tying the hands of everybody and it's deteriorating the country. So you're for Second Amendment? Oh, absolutely. That would be an understatement. And this is uh, coming from a former underboss who, for the criminal, if they banned guns, they would have an edge. And you're saying to keep the guns is going to keep the citizens safer. Absolutely. Listen, how many shootings are there? 10, 20, 30? There's 300 and something million people in this country. Mm. The, the numbers just don't jive. And, and there, how many guns are out there? They say 200 million guns. So you had 30 shootings. I mean, that's nothing. How many car accidents did you have? How many drunken drivers killed people? How many? Did we take cars away? We try and control the person who's drinking and driving. We have to control the people who are gonna have guns. Listen, I'm for the Second Amendment, but I do think, on the other hand, looking at it the other way, I used to go hunting. I would shoot a rifle, that was a bolt action. I missed the deer. I bolted again, boom, missed the deer, he got away. They have guns now that shoot 100 bullets with a semi-automatic, like a machine gun. So in 10 seconds, he could unload 200 bullets. Do you need 200 bullets to kill a deer? No. So they could limit some of that power. Mm. Those, and I was in the military, so those are military guns, a 30 caliber. The thing that knock half of your body off when you get hit. What do you need a 30 caliber for? Why do they need a, a 30 caliber? You need a gun to protect your house. 38, a handgun, a shotgun, a gun that it, with a bolt that only shoots one at a time is fine. You can protect your family. She can protect herself. So I, I, I agree with that. There's too much power. And when you get a nut and you give him that much power, then you're, you're waiting for something major to happen.